What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. I have a very special episode for you guys today. Now this lake is known to be the Bluegill Capital Lake of Texas. So I'm very excited to be out here. And guess what? We have never been on this lake. Now our focus is big bluegill today. The first thing that we're gonna have to do out here is we're gonna have to find these bluegill beds. So we're gonna put that side scan to use on the Helix 7 and we're gonna see what we can find. If you're excited about this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're subscribed to the channel already, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love big bluegill fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. You ready to get on these big bluegill? I'm ready. All right, guys. We'll see y'all out on the water. Y'all stay tuned. Guys, first little spot we've come to. Look at this right here. Look at that. Those are some big brim beds, guys. Remember, these bluegill are supposedly huge on this lake. I'm going to go ahead and put my waypoint on these beds right here. And it should be game over. I'm going to mark it. And then now we're going to go back and throw a buoy marker over that waypoint. And it should be game on, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. We got our waypoint. Now we're going to go back over that waypoint with the boat. And as soon as we get about directly over that waypoint, we are going to toss the buoy marker out. And right about now... That's gonna be a pretty good estimate on where these bluegill beds are. Now, what I can do, I can run back over it with side scan to see how accurate that buoy marker really is to those beds. That's about right. That's these beds right here, look. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right there to the left, these bluegill beds right in here. That buoy marker is marking those beds over there. So guess what, guys? We're gonna pop trolling motor down, put these anchors down, and let's get to fishing. Let's go. All right, guys, I have live crickets today and red worms. Hannah's using the red worms to start off with. I'm gonna try the crickets. We're gonna catch the first one that tis the question. Oh, there he is. There's one. Oh my, oh my. That's a bluegill? No way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that is oh. Oh. Babe, are you are you serious right now? Guys, this is the first bluegill of the day. Are you serious right now? Guys, look at that. That is gorgeous. You see the colors on that fish? Copper nose. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. We are gonna keep some, so we are keeping fish. Live crickets, baby. One cricket, one gill. Kind of threading those crickets on there like that, leaving that, leaving the end of the hook exposed right here. That is a red ear, baby. <laughs> huh? Oh gosh, there he is. Uh oh, we got a, we got a head shaker. That's another big one. It's a big one. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready for the big ones. Look. Yeah, he's looking fast. Oh my gosh, guys, another stud. Holy smokes. We're gonna weigh a few of these guys in this video, so stick around. If we catch one, you know, one or two that are bigger than this, I, this is probably pushing a pound right here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, there, oh my gosh. Oh, that's stud. Watch out, baby, watch out. I can't do nothing with it. Oh, okay. That's a stud. It's got to be. Oh my gosh. Look how be look how beautiful that fish is. Look how beautiful that fish is. Let me get this grass off, guys. Holy cow. 
Oh my goodness. Guys, these are some these are some studs. And I think they get bigger. I think they get bigger, baby. There's three in there. Let's go get another one. What's going on, family? I wanted to take a break from these big bluegill and go over our setup. Today, I have the six-foot ACC crappie sticks one-piece. Hannah is using the two-piece, six-footer as well. And we have the PC Fun Viper X500 on both reels. Now, I'm probably going to get a little flack for this, guys, but I have my reasons. We have six-pound braid right here on the main line with our slip cork set up to a six-pound mono leader to a plain shank number four hook right here from Aberdeen. And we're using crickets today. We also have worms, but so far we have had way better luck on the crickets. But this setup right here has been great today. We got about 12 in the live wheel or so, and we're gonna keep on going for you guys. But the reasoning for this six pound braid is because I started noticing, guys, we're fishing in about nine feet of water right now. We're fishing about eight and a half, nine feet deep as well. And that mono would not go through that slip cork in previous uh, outings. So I decided to go ahead and see about this braid. And this six pound braid right here is slipping through those slip corks with ease. It's a fight with this six foot ACC. So y'all be sure to stick around. Let's get back to fishing. Oh, there he is. Way out there, baby. Oh, do you hear the drag right now? This is insane. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. That's a. Babe. That is a. That is a giant. Here, I'm, I'm just going to weigh one to kind of get an eyeball, you know? Okay, so that, dang babe, that's only a 0.66. So they get they, they get bigger. Look at that fish, guys. Wowza. Let's go. Let's go get another one. Let's see if we can get another one real quick for you guys. There he is. Oh, baby. Look at that. Guys, look at this ACC right here. Y'all see this six footer? That's a, that's a big fish. It's, he just got a little bit more fight in him than those other ones. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. What a tank. Fish are beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful bluegill. That was a big juicy one right there, guys. And that, that that one actually did not take long from when oh babe. Oh babe. Oh no. <sighs> hey guys, I, I can't do nothing with him. I mean so big look at that. That's a giant. <laughs> I mean huh? That's a big one. That's bigger. That's the biggest one so far. Look how thick. Look at you. Yeah. Uh huh. Look at this, guys. Oh my land. There. That's Hannah's first big one of the day right there. She's caught a few smaller ones. Uh, you're gonna have to try to get it out of that buoy. Uh -huh. Just come right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Know where he is. He's right here. Come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. That is a giant. It's got to be. Oh, oh flip, flip. Get him in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Yep, there's that. You feel the fight of that, don't oh. you? Oh, we got a peer. Look at that, guys. Look at the tail. The tail's an uh, inch and a half, two inches thick. Oh my gosh, okay. Big old copper nose. Giants. 
All right, guys, there's mine right there. I guess I'm gonna have to take Hannah's off. No, I got it. You got it? She's got it, she's got it. That may be a little bit too far to the left. Or it may be right where I need to be, baby. It is, it is right there. Look at that. Nice. Oh, it's another good one. Look at that. Good gosh, this is insane. Look at that. Oh, man. That is crazy. Okay, so that's the trick right there. When you catch them, grab the hook, and then you can hold them like this to get the hook out. Look at that gill, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gee, <laughs> Baby, you let the thing... You... <laughs> You let it down, and I, t I ain't even tossed it yet. Yes, you had. It landed about the same time. It's a resting. You should get nailed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, babe, this is a big one. You see that pole? That pole. Da -dum, da -dum. Yeah, this has got to be a giant, a big, big one, because I haven't felt this, but I haven't felt this today yet. And it's a good one. Look at that bluegill, guys. Wow. Wow. Right there to the hook, and then grab right here, and guess what? Boom, baby. Guys, these are some big gills. I hope y'all are enjoying this so far. Wow. Oh, I think I missed him. I was not paying attention. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh my goodness. Bell wasn't set, babe. And there he is. Oh man, that's a little rookie mistake, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even really, I can't even really. Look at that. Okay, babe, we got a stud, an absolute giant here. This is a giant. Okay, th th okay, this is the biggest of the day, babe. The biggest of the day. Huh? What do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, you want to steal that one. Oh my goodness. That. Yeah. Oh my god. I I I, I can't put my hand around him. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Scaling me thing. Okay, we got a point, point nine seven. Point nine seven, guys. That is a toad. That's the biggest of the day so far. And that is a big old bluegill. Point nine seven, biggest of the day. Look at that, guys. That is a giant. What are we looking at here? Hold on. Ten and a quarter inches, guys. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Ten and a quarter. Nice. That's the biggest one of the day. Hannah's tripping over a bee, guys. Don't leave me alone. Tripping over a bee. I'm tripping over this bluegill, baby. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, you dropped him because Ooh. of the bee. No, I did not. I yeah. dropped him. Bee ain't gonna do nothing to you. Caleb, I don't want it around me. There we go. You okay? No. It's a wood boring. It's a wood boring bee. I know, but he needs to go away. All right, guys. Let's go get another one. All right, guys. Like I like I mentioned, these these crickets right here have been they've been the ticket today. I'm, I usually do not bluegill fish with crickets. I'm glad I went ahead and picked a few of them up because it's looking like that is what they want today. You're probably right where you need to be. Right. Oh. Yep. Hold on. Is he is he on? Get him! Dang, that's a stud. Ain't that crazy? Guys, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I'm, I may be being a little over the over the top here, but we, we've never caught bluegill this size, okay? We've caught, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. We've caught, okay, reel down. No, reel down and flip him with that ACC. No, reel down like this, baby. Right there, stop. Now flip him up in here with that ACC. Come on. 
Oh, baby. Now, remember, hey, you got to look, grab the hook so he can't flip. Okay. Then that's when you grab him here. Yeah, but. I know he's big. Yeah. Look at that. There it is, guys. The biggest of the day so far. That is a 1.07. Had that one fight. Good. Real good on that ACC. Mm -hmm. I had to tighten She boat tire. flipped it, guys. She boat flipped it with six pound mono leader. 1.07. Let's go get another one, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. We got the live cricket right here on this plain shank hook, number four, right here. Let's see how long it takes for these bluegill to find it. I think it's been averaging about seven to nine seconds once it reaches bottom. Right now, it's at bottom. Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. About eight seconds, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, it's a stud. Are you getting this down here, too? Mm-hmm. Boom, baby. Let's go. That's a giant. God, dog. <clears throat> Look at that bluegill, guys. That is a monster. These Viper X 500 reels are awesome, guys. They match these ACCs really well. Be sure to go to PCFun.com earlier, like I said, but I failed to mention the the code to use with these. Uh, 903FISH15 for 15% off at PCFun.com. I'm telling you guys, once you use these reels, you're going to be glad that you went and purchased one over there at PCFun. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Oh, look at that. What a stud. It's got to be a stud. Here comes Big Daddy Gill. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Look at that one. Yeah, he's round. He, that's a dinner plate. Oh, jeez, jeez. All right, baby, let's go. Now, see, look, now we done move. Well, hey, hey, yo. Oh my. See that? Okay, babe, this, this could be a, this feels different. Look at my ACC up here, guys. It's bent over double here, and that is a fighter. Okay. Feels big, man. Oh, oh, that is a little humpback, humpback, humpback in Notre Dame right there, baby. Well, there's another one, guys. And I, now, hey, I've always said, guys, if you can lip a bluegill, that's a stud. Look at that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Here we go. What you got? Good gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that one for you guys. That one just absolutely annihilated it. Yeah, babe, right? Keep coming, keep coming in with your, keep coming in. Jeez. Ooh, look at this one. It's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. We got a peer. Oh my gosh, hurry. We're doubling. Hurry. Hurry what? Throw him in because he's <laughs> up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get him. Get him in. Look at that ACC, guys. Oh, 
It's a little guy. What? <laughs> He's a what? There you go. He's beautiful. He is. Look at that. Dinner plate, babies. Oh gosh, Dinner plate. Let's go. Ooh. There he is. There he is. A little wiggle with that cricket. It game over. Feels like a good one too. I'm telling you guys, these this combination right here, this six foot ACC with this PC fun reel, man. It's oh look at that one, babe. That's a stud. That is a stud. That's a stud. It's a big one. Whew. Look at there. And then, then they just pee all over you. Look at that beautiful fish. Man, that's pretty. Let's go get another one. There, there he is. That's right there. It's a good one too. God, dog. Look at that. Look at that fight, guys. Yeah, we got, <laughs> you hear that? Mm. Him coming up, <laughs> look, look how beautiful that fish is. Red eyes. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Let's go. There he is. God, oh. Man right there in front of me it feels like a good one it feels like a it feels like a little toady and it is golly oh baby another stud there he is that's a good one too see that looks a little different than that last one huh looks a little different let's see if there's another one right back in that same spot work it may work it may not work oh, are you serious oh my goodness I just threw it back. <laughs> just threw it back out there oh babe okay this feels like one of them behemoths and it is holy smokes okay wow. okay that's that's a stud. Yeah, give me the scale on this one. I think it's over here. It is over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Wait, that's not right. It's in ounces. 0.85. Still a stud. 0.85. Guys, look at that. And lip that beautiful fish right there. Wow. Hey guys, we have not moved spots all day, right? It's the first location that we fish. Now, we had to reposition the boat, but this is still the same set of bluegill beds we've fished all day. And we honestly don't know how many we have in the cooler or in the live well, I should say, but I know we're pushing 30. I, I, I know we are. What's going on family? We are about to head back to the boat ramp. I have ran out of crickets and let me tell you guys something. These bluegill will not touch a night crawler or red worm. Will they? They will not. They will not touch it. I don't know if they're just that picky or if they just are that smart. I don't know what's going on, but they will not touch a worm. And we used all of the crickets I had. I bought a half tube of crickets and they are gone so guess what we're gonna head back to the ramp like i said we're gonna lay all these bluegill out for you guys to see and we don't know how many we've ended up with today but you know what how many probably 30 or 40. no i, I need an exact number 38. 38. oh that's kind of what i was going with here 
I'm going to say 41. Okay. 41. 41, 38. Y'all drop y'all's comment down in the comment section as well. Right now is also a great time to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. All right, guys, we're about to head back. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on, family? We are back at the boat ramp, and I know this is Hannah's best day of bluegill fishing ever. I had one last last spawn with with mr o'gary we caught 134 but the quality of these fish are ridiculous check them out we ended with 39 yep 39 now look guys this is just a regular 20 ounce bottle okay this is a 20 ounce bottle right here of water so there's your comparison right there to some of these absolute monsters that's a 20 ounce bottle of water you know we really didn't know where to start but i knew about what depth range that bluegill like to spawn in and we found these bluegill averaging 10 feet of water today and like i mentioned before we came to the ramp they would not touch a worm i i do not understand it hannah started with worms i started with crickets and i was just catching fish in the same spots that she was throwing after me she would not get bit i would throw right back out with a cricket and look, I mean, that is the results right there. Crickets were the ticket today, guys. Hannah and I both used six foot ACC crappie sticks today. I used the one piece and Hannah used the two piece. We both have paired PC Fun Viper X reels right here, 500 series. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15 to save 15% off your order. Y'all be sure to go to ACCCrappiesticks.com. Go pick you up a crappie fishing rod to fit your needs, whether you're casting, vertical jigging, live scoping, slip corking, it really doesn't matter. ACC has a crappie rod just for you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know Hannah and I had a blast out here today. What'd you think about them big bluegill? Massive. Were they fun to catch? Yeah, they put up a good fight. I'm telling you guys, best fight I've had on bluegill in my entire life. I will say that. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are already subscribed to the 903 Fishing channel, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you love you some crappie fishing and some big old bluegill fishing, this is the channel for you. Smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.